Well, hello there, my friend. Jonathan Doyle with you once again. I am pleased you are here for the Catholic Teacher Daily Message. Please make sure you're subscribed. Hit those subscribe buttons under here and go and check out all the links below. You can book me to speak live. You can find out where the podcast version is, uh, Instagram account, all under here. Today, I want to share with you a really powerful insight from George MacDonald, one of the great thinkers and writers of the faith over the last couple hundred years. It's a really important quote that we need to understand so that we can help our students with a particular challenge that they're facing at this moment in history. You ready? Let's hear the quote. I would rather be what God chose to make me than the most glorious creature that I could think of. For to have been thought about, born in God's thought, and then made by God is the dearest, grandest, and most precious thing in all thinking. All right, this is really good. It's a beautiful sentiment, is it not? This idea that I would rather be what I am than the most magnificent, spectacular creature in the cosmos. I'm sharing this with you because so many of our students obviously struggle with body image, self-love or self-loathing, even issues like self-harm, so many problems, eating disorders, name it, right? We're seeing it even in younger and younger kids in elementary, primary school ages. What is at the root of that is a sense of inadequacy, is I am not beautiful enough, I'm not popular enough. If I just looked like X, then I would be happy, then I'd be fulfilled. Can you agree with me that so many of our young people, not all of them, but so many of them struggle with this sense of inadequacy. And I think it was probably always there, right? I think teenagers, adolescents, all throughout human history were going through that kind of physiological set of changes and orienting themselves in the world, right? The difference obviously now is social media, is the internet, is that young people are exposed to a vast range of images and ideologies that can really prey on that anxiety. One of the beautiful things we have to offer in Catholic education is this Imago Dei principle, Imago Dei, image of God, right? Genesis chapter 3. This idea that we are made in the image and likeness of God. This idea that God willed us into being exactly as we are. Now, yes, there's sin, and yes, in this post-lapsarian world, we are not exactly as God created us to be, but he's still working on us, right? It doesn't mean that he created us inaccurately or it doesn't mean that he created us less than. So I think as Catholic educators, we have this unique and precious and special ability to speak into the lives of our students about their value, their dignity, their worth. This is one of the great offerings of Catholicism at this moment in human history. I did a video a couple of weeks ago that got a lot of views when I talked about you know, the, th the three great crises in church history, the crisis of what is God, the crisis of what is the church, and the current crisis that we're living through, which is what does it mean to be human? When you look at all the, the trans ideology, the transhumanism, the AI stuff that's coming out, there's this idea of this, this real confusion about what it means to be human. And, you know, Pope Benedict said that one of the things we've got to get good at is accepting the gift of the creator accepting the gift that God has given us in our embodied, enfleshed creation. So go back into your classrooms and in small ways and hidden ways and explicit ways, try and help each one of your students realize that they are the person that God created them to be, that they don't need to want to be someone else because being somebody else would not ultimately fulfill them. God knew exactly what he was doing as he created them and they need to hear that good news all right, this is Christianity, this is Catholicism, this is the gospel, good news, evangelion, all right, good news. How many students in your classroom are carrying brokenness and senses of rejection and inadequacy and self-hatred already? And you are the person that God has placed in their life to go and speak that truth once again. All right, my friends, that's it. Please make sure you subscribe. Check out all the links below if you'd like to book me to speak live. My name is Jonathan Doyle. This has been the Catholic Teacher Daily Message, and you and I are going to talk again tomorrow.